Hello, it's a great day for math. Uh, let's attempt this uh, mainly trigonometry question with a bit of uh, other concepts here and there. Right, so the diagram is a cuboid uh, with 24, 13, and 8 cm as the sides. Fine. Now, uh, do put in the ratios. Okay, so we have EX is to XF as 3 is to 5. Fine. Now, first one, calculate the area of ABXE. So if I use my highlighter, this is a 3D diagram. It's talking about this plane, A to B, X, E. Okay. It's a really simple 2D trapezium. So um, using ratios, clearly that uh, if the whole side AB AB is the same as uh, EF, so if that's 24, then this must be 9 cm. And therefore, this is uh, this 15 cm. Okay, so we have a trapezium. The area of the trapezium is just following the typical formula. Half times the addition of their parallel sides of 9 plus 24 times the height of 8. That gives us 132 centimeter squares, right? So that's easy, a really simple three marks. Next, we have calculate the length of XG. So now we are looking at a different plane of this 3D diagram. I'm going to use blue. XG is actually an imaginary line here that lies on this plane when looked on, looked at from the top. Now, don't be deceived. Some of us are not so good. It's actually a simple right angle triangle, as you can see here, X, F, G. We know from uh, properties of the cuboid, there's a lot of rectangles flying all over the place. GF is 13, um, XF is 15, which we found out earlier, and XG is uh, simply using, that's right, Pythagoras theorem, right? So XG squared is equals to 13 square plus 15 square, very quickly, blah, 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 xg square with both sides. We're going to get xg to be approximately 19.849. I'll leave it as that. So I have the 5sf and then the 3sf version. So 19.8 centimeters, All right? So part A and B, done. Right, so now on to part C. I'm carrying on the length of XG from part B, 19.849, the 5SF version. And now we have a pyramid being cut from the cuboid. Now, it's cut across from X to G and B. It's a plane of its own when viewed from this uh, particular viewing angle. Okay, so the base of the pyramid is triangle BGX, okay? And you need to calculate the area of this. So... Five marks, guys. Um, a few parts. We have a triangle with. Uh, we only currently have one length known, xg, and we want we want to find the area. Um, points clearly this is not the right angled triangle, so clearly we need to use the trigo formula or rather the other formula of area of triangle, half ab sine c. We need two sides and one angle. Um, let us proceed to find side. XG first. And how do I find XG? By using this triangle on this plane here. So I'll use red. X, uh, X, B. Let's just call this O, okay? O, O here. So um, if OB should be the same length as previously, uh, the length of XF, which would be 15. Mm, we know that XO is 8, the same as EA. So again, Pythagoras theorem. This is a right, right angle triangle. So XB square is 8 square plus 15 square. So very quickly, XB is simply 17 cm. So 17 here. Okay, fill it in. Um, technically, based on the half AB sine C, we already have two sides. But we don't have an angle. Now that's a problem. So we actually need... It's a five mark question. Obviously, there's a lot of working. 
I'm gonna need to know what XB a, G, a BG is, guys. BG is on this plane when looked at from this angle. And once again, we have a right-angled triangle. I'll draw it out here. B, C, G. Of which this is 13 and this is 8 once again. So BG will be the length of, uh, using Pythagoras' theorem again, 13 square, 8 square. BG is... Uh, a not so nice answer of 15.264. So 5SF, huh? Okay. So why did I do that, guys? Why do we need all? This becomes a trigo question. Okay, I mean it was already trigo, but now we have three sides. We're gonna use the cosine rule, okay everyone. To find any of the angles in between of that triangle. I think I'll use, um, let's find G X B and let's call it theta. Okay. So by cosine rule, uh, B G squared is equals to X G squared plus X B squared minus two X G times X B and the cosine of theta. Okay. Let's fill in the values. So, oh, I realized that actually I can use a nicer number, two, two, three, three. X G squared. This is three nine four. X B squared. Uh, two eight nine. Minus two times of X G. Nineteen point eight four nine. XB17, cosine theta, right? With a lot of algebraic manipulation, I'm going to have uh, cosine theta to be approximately 0 0.67124 and theta will be 47.837 degrees. So finally, everyone, the area of the triangle BGX this half AB sine C half times 19.849 times 17 uh, and the sine of 47.837 degrees. And that gives us the grand answer of 125 uh, centimeters square to 3SF. And we are done. That's worth five marks.